internet. We both know why you're here. This is the gypsy look that I did on my friend Bailey. So to start out, I usually take an eye pencil that's like almost in a nude shade or like a light brown and I map out what I want to do. So I kind of had this idea for like, you know, these chains hanging down and holding onto these sleeves. I looked at like a lot of reference images to see just like what kind of flavor that I wanted. Then I took like a really fluffy brush and some bronzer and I just tried to like carve out her, um, her collarbone just a little bit. Then I took some gold paint, which is a uh, Mirror paradise paints in gold and I made the chains gold and then we're doing something here which is like the shirt is going to be red um, but I'm starting out with a yellow base and this is yellow Maron paradise paints and the reason I'm putting down yellow first before the red is because the red that I have is really dark so I'm putting this yellow down to kind of put some vibrance behind it and it's gonna give us more of a cherry red versus the really intense dark red which is uh, what my red color is there's like that empty space in the middle because I was planning on having like this giant glow going on and eventually we do close that up but that's that's why there's like this weird empty space so for the crystal ball like I started out with this blue this is a Ben Nye water activated paint in blue and then this is Maron Paradise paints in mauve and I just wanted to kind of blend these together I, I had kind of this idea for like this really vibrant really glowy uh, crystal ball so I am actually using a beauty blender and using that to blend in the two different paints and sometimes you have to like you know go back and forth between your dark and your light shade and just kind of like bring those together gradually doing that and this is it like a neon pink color by tag and I put that down and also blended that in and my friend actually noticed that it the the crystal ball starts out kind of as an oval shape this is because like from my angle like looking down on her it was a perfect circle but she's actually large chested so it actually distorts like the view of the crystal ball looking straight ahead and we do eventually fix this so there's some more of that neon to kind of give it more of that glow So then I decided that I wanted to give the tops of these shoulders some more wave and some more texture. I found a reference photo where there's like these crinkly things on the top of the, the shoulders. So that's kind of what we're doing here. These are like almost like uh, the shapes of like waves, like as they're beginning to crash. So they're kind of like mountains, but a little bit more wavy. And I just did that with a detail brush. After I had that down, I'm using the Cat Eyes palette by Too Faced and just using like a really small eyeshadow brush. And this is where I'm like pushing in some shading into those wrinkles that we made on the top. Looking at reference images for like folds and crinkles help a lot here, but I'm basically using black and dark brown eyeshadow and like pushing it down so it kind of looks like a shadow underneath all of these just so we have a little bit more. I also used a kind of a straight brush with some eyeshadow on it as well. Um, to get like the shading on the top. So there's like shading behind the ruffle things as well. And then finally there's some more wrinkles using uh, the same palette and an eyeshadow brush and uh, using brown closer to the bottom where like the wrinkles are wider, like I more like pleats. Um, and then some black near the tops of them. I decided I wanted to give the bottom of the ball even more of a glow, so I just went in with some yellow and I added a little bit of that. I also did some eyeshadow shading behind the ball, but we're gonna be filling in that space with red later, so I wouldn't be concerned with that. So now I'm using the Graftobian Walk Around Airbrush System and, and just airbrushing some white paint onto there. I actually did this because I was out of white paint, but I wanted some like additional shine. So as you can see, I went ahead and I filled in more of like that red space. We have more of the shirt going on. And then there is some black on a detail brush. And I'm just like surrounding that and starting to like blend out like this like darkness that's coming from behind the orb. Um, and I'm doing that with black paints and I'm also using purple, like dark purple eyeshadow and black eyeshadow to give it more of like this creepy shadow and black glowiness behind it. So then I decided to start on Bailey's makeup. It was a really basic routine. Uh, we cleaned off her face to make sure that there are no excess oils. And then I had her put down, we put down a primer and then we put down foundation and we baked her face. And then we did this thing, which is like kind of a drag queen-y thing to do, which is you take a, a really stiff piece of paper you hold it up to someone's cheek and you apply your your pigment to it and you get this nice straight line it wasn't as straight as I wanted it to be here because I was like applying it at an awkward angle so then I took some concealer and I just kind of like cut that edge then I took some uh, red powder pigment and I believe this is actually the star cake uh, this is Maron 
and uh, I contoured her nose with that. Then I took some concealer and I put that down as a base on her eyelids. I used the NYX Ultimate uh, Brights palette uh, for yellow, and then we put down some more of that Maron pigment onto her eyes. And then on mainly the outer corners, I put this really dark purple so that we just kind of have this, almost like the sunset on her eyeball. I kind of wanted this kind of messy, smoky-eyed, gypsy look. Um, so now we have to messy up how almost like tidy her face looks. So then I took some um, black eyeshadow and I made like this like really smoky outline around the outer corners. And then I took some more of that like purple powder that we had and I like made these almost like smoky filled in Y shapes below her eyes. And I also wanted a headband, so that's just more of the gold Maron Paradise paints put down and then Paradise paints in red for like this little bead in the middle. And then more of that uh, gray and black and brown eyeshadow for shading around all of this. And then I actually used concealer for highlighting for this because I was actually out of, uh, out of white paints. So then I just took some eyeliner and I gave her some large wings. Those are some false lashes. And I used uh, Red Marin Paradise paints for the lips and she put on a head wrap and that is it. This has been PT Bar Pun for HalloweenMakeup.com. Whatever day it is that you're seeing this, I hope you're having a good one and I will see you the next time I do video stuff. Bye.